Welcome to another How To Crucible. This is your boy, Absolute Quality here. <clears throat> so today, we're going to be looking at Hard Light, the auto rifle that is of the exotic category. Moving on to my opinion, uh, personally, personally, I enjoy the design and everything about Hard Light, except for its performance. It blows. <laughs> the recoil makes me want to stab my eyes with forks, and it just doesn't do enough damage ever at any range. It just sucks. It just doesn't do enough damage, and then co combine that with the popcorn recoil you're getting, and it's just poop. It's poop. It, it just resonates stink of poop. You know what I'm. You know where I'm going. You know where I'm going with this. It blows. Playstyle. What would I do as a playstyle if you're gonna use hard light? Go ahead and team kill. And by team kill, I mean stay near to, stay near, or close to your teammates and just help them out. Put some damage on the enemies. Suppressing fire. You got those recoil bullets. Just suppress fire. Not recoil bullets, but. Uh, Bouncy bullets. What what are those? What are those called? What? Oh my god! Brain fart. Anyways, it doesn't matter. They they bounce off walls. The bouncy bullets. That's what we're calling them now, I guess. I I honestly don't know the name, but just stay near your teammates because they're gonna help you out a lot more than this gun is ever going to help you. Moving on to perks. Okay, so well, uh, yeah, they're not so good. I, I mean, they're cool, right? But but they're not they're not good. I mean, you have you have the the bouncy bullets. Why can't I not know what those are? I, you know what? It just doesn't matter. They're bouncy bullets now. Um, you have those, and obviously those are nice, but they don't really do a whole lot in terms of damage at all. Um, I really never found these useful. I don't find these useful in any single any gun that I ever use because you, just because of the angles, you hit the wall and it bounces off weird and it never comes it never comes full circle and hits the things that you want it to hit. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. But you know, they're cool. I mean, you got lasers shooting across the map like Star Wars. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it just they're not great, honestly. They don't really do a whole lot for the weapons. So for perks, I'm gonna give them a six. Long range. Gross. Uh, the, the weapon was hard to handle. Obviously, like I've said before, the popcorn recoil. And it did also a very low amount of damage. I'm not talking about, you know, like, uh, low damage like 10s and 15s. I'm talking like, you know, 7s and 8s from a little far away. Uh, if I was trying to fight anyone from that range, I was just shooting to shoot. There was no other reason for it. I was just shooting my gun to... Tell the enemy I was there, and I was ready to fight a little bit closer. <laughs> there, there's really nothing. I'm serious. Long range is just poop with this gun. I mean, it, I mean, it hits people, and then maybe you can get assist kills with your teammates, but other than that, it's 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 a little sad, not gonna lie. It's a little sad. So, for long range, we're gonna give it a 4. Moving on to short range. It's okay. I mean, it does, it does kind of a good kind of okay damage it doesn't do a, a lot of damage it does a kind of okay damage um it's a little easier to aim up close obviously because it's you don't have to compensate for that much more recoil because they're pretty close to you um although it does get destroyed by a whole lot of other guns <laughs> there there are a lot of guns out there that actually d destroy at close range and especially when you get up against teammate or teams that only use Uriel's Gift, the Mitre Tool, and the anti oak D. You will lose every time. Not because not because you're not good. Not because you're not special. Not because you can totally take on that kind of team. I'm just saying, with this gun, you're gonna lose. Every time. Every time. So short range, I'm giving it a six, but it does get destroyed by some of the bigger guns. But it it, it does enough damage. Moving on to effectiveness. Now we get to take our math. Do our math. So, here's the equation. We'll put it up for you. So, for K, we're going to have 214. We had 214 kills. With deaths, we had 136. We're going to add those up, and we're going to get a total of 350. So, T can be 350. So, we'll do that calculation, and that comes out to be a 
one. Interesting fact, KD, I had a 1.57, so that kind of helps you out. Um, there are guns that I have twos and up, but this one I just could not get kills to save my life. Like literally, I die and I wouldn't get the kill. What a sad story, I'm telling you. Sad story. 6.1 for effectiveness. Moving on to overall rating. So now we have all of our numbers. We can slap them into this equation. Go ahead and put that up, Chase. Thank you very much. And we're going to divide it and see what we get. And the calculation comes out to be a 5.5. The total for this weapon is a 27.5. Six. Kind of a low for an exotic. Yeah, but uh, this one really does kind of stink. So that's, you know, that's what you get, I guess. Moving on to the ranking process. If you don't know, I will let, I will explain. I will explain. But if you do know, just calmly and sit there and watch because I have to, exp I'm going to explain it every time. I'm sorry. But so we're going to take our total score, so our 27.6, and we're going to take that and we're going to rank that against all the other total scores that I've done in the auto rifle category. And then we're going to take that number against all of the other weapons in Destiny 2 so that we can see where this weapon ranks among all of its peers. So, first of all, auto rifles. It's going to be the worst auto rifle at 7th place. Sad. Very sad for this weapon. It is, uh... 7th place. It's the worst auto rifle I've done. It literally is just not great, sadly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I mean, I do have Uriel's Gift in there, but, I mean, obviously Uriel's Gift is number one, but all the other ones aren't really that great. I mean, Scathe Lock, granted, is second, but I think that's about it with all, like, the crazy good ones. I don't, I haven't done, um, I haven't done things like the Jinyashi I think that's how you say it, and I haven't done, you know, a few others, but I've done some random ones, and they're, they're better than the hard light, so sadly, that's, it's rough. But out of all of the Destiny weapons, all of the Destiny 2 weapons, it's going to take the 34th place. Ouch. Yeah, um, hard light's just not doing it. Hard light's just not surviving at all, so that's all I got for you today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy um, hope you guys are enjoying the new style that I'm doing, just writing it on a whiteboard and then talking it out and actually conveying feeling instead of writing a script because I no longer want to write scripts because it takes too much time. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later.